Shakespeare died 400 years ago, in 1616. This year, all over the world, we celebrate his dramatic works and how they've been passed on through generations to today and onward. We're celebrating here at Gallaudet University with a special focus on Shakespeare in ASL. The Folger Shakespeare Library has decided to create a national touring exhibition for this year called First Folio, the book that gave us Shakespeare. Gallaudet is thrilled to host the exhibit for the Washington, D.C. area. Here at Gallaudet, we investigate and teach about seeing the world through the lens of deaf lives. Our bilingual mission values both ASL and English. Shakespeare is the perfect source material from which we can work with. So far, I'm enjoying taking a Shakespeare class because it's given me a different perspective on the material. Like a typical high schooler, I read Romeo and Juliet as well as Hamlet, and it was a mixed bag. But here at Gallaudet, I'm getting a perspective based on a deaf framework. It's helping me learn about Shakespeare and his text in four dimensions, which is increasing my appreciation of his work. To read and translate Shakespeare is challenging, but when you create a translation into ASL, you bring in the visual aspects that's powerful. That visual imagery makes it come alive, and all of a sudden it's like, oh, that's what Shakespeare is all about. Ethan is really skilled with Shakespeare, and we're lucky to have him. He would actually explain the text to us by drawing a picture of what it means, helping us visualize it. Some lines are really tough to translate, so painting a picture is really more useful than just signing the lines. I'm looking forward to the fall production of Midsummer Night's Dream, but we first have to prepare for that in advance. We do that by reading the script, looking it over, reworking it to find that deaf center, that deaf perspective. We involve students in the process where they give their input in class to influence the translation trying to find that deaf heart, and at that heart is the dream. We have many wonderful events planned for the public this October including a family day, a visual Shakespeare festival, and a workshop for K-12 teachers. School groups are welcome to come experience the first folio and Shakespeare in American Deaf History exhibits as well.